don't know. Just, Sorry, already? Or? Yeah. Alright, All right, morning, guys. So today we're gonna take off um, any unwanted, um, any unwanted uh, vinyl wrap. For example, when times go hard, you know, it's pretty hard. Like we guys mess up, like we did in this case. It didn't come out as you guys wanted to, so we're gonna probably take it off and um, do another video of how to like install it correctly. Uh, if you can see here, um, just this part came out pretty wrong, pretty messed up, and then the rest of it came out clean. So, I mean, it, the car in general looks nice. I'm going to take a look at the car. It makes it look pretty good, especially at nighttime. Um, this is a G3505. This is cool. Um, and so, we'll just take it off. I mean, like, I don't like how it came out, so we got to take it off. But you can't have this on a G, so. Okay. Okay, so good. All right, to start off, you you need a, you can use a, a hair blow dryer, or you can use a heat gun. You can find this heat gun like for fifteen ninety nine at Amazon. So I mean, it wasn't that expensive, and it's pretty good. It's a Genesis uh, brand heat gun. All right, so. Starts, yeah. So always make sure beforehand, um, before you start, just grab like grab a piece of end, like an end piece. And then just make sure as you go along, you're just cleaning it off slowly. Uh, the heat gun is like to loosen up the adhesive, so it could be a bit easier to take out the vinyl. You could also put the car into the sun for a while, and that way it, it'll be you know a bit easier to take out the adhesive. I mean the the vinyl. Alright, so really quick, uh, what we've been doing is passing the heat gun by from end to end, putting the heat gun down and then pulling it. So we're not like pulling it and applying the heat gun at the same time. Um, it's taken us a while because we had this thing on for like three weeks, right? Yeah, two weeks. And it's like, it's leaving like uh, where the air bubbles were, like these stains. And like some of the pieces right here, it won't come off. Well, this one, we, this one took us a while to take off, but there's like a lot of little like manchas stains on the on the top of the roof due to the air bubbles or like any place that we messed up. They look like scratch marks, but they're actually, um, actually like if you just scratch them off like this. They're just like leftover adhesive. Yeah, just like residue. So you can actually, I'm gonna show you right now in a bit how to take this off. Pretty simple, pretty easy. And even like brand new. Yeah. So I mean, if you guys are worried about um, like the heat gun leaving any stains or in, like melting your paint, it actually doesn't. Um, we'll just show you real quick like after this after we finish doing this how like to remove these stains these pieces of residue Yep <laughs> So we're done. Um, we still have these these little pieces 
Yeah, residue. Of residue left. But like, if we didn't have any air bubbles or any like crimps or like the, the paper, the vinyl getting wrinkled up, it should look something like this after it turned off. Uh, the paint's still good. There's nothing wrong with it. But yeah. This took us about, what, 10 minutes? 10 minutes to take off. Shouldn't take it too long unless you're doing the whole car, but. Yeah. All right, so what we're doing now is just cleaning off the top of the, the car, the roof of it with clay. Trying to take off like every single little mark. Okay. That's on there. Any dirt or whatever for whatever reason that you might have. So like it's not for the the adhesive. Comes off. It's not even done anymore. Be sure to use water too, because water helps out. All right, so we just finished uh, cleaning the car, the roof of it. Um, and, like everything, like, I don't know if you guys remember, but it used to have like, it, it used to be filled with stains right here. But you could just take that off really easily. There's little to no stains anymore. So yeah, if you guys like have air bubbles or any like places that uh, you messed up with the car vinyl, after you take it off, it, should leave, it might leave a stain, but those stains, you could re remove them like pretty easily.